Aquarius, this astrologically is a complex week for you and it starts to resolve over the next two weeks and we're going to get into the details. Aquarius, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. It's an energy reading. So please apply it to wherever in your life it resonates. If I give an example that sounds like career, but it fits into your love life, apply it. This is your reading. Apply the energy that is described where it resonates. Also, you'll see that I do not put any dates on my readings. And that is because I know that the energy catches you when you're ready to meet it. And so ultimately the astrology is very specific, but that's when the energy falls. When the ripples actually reach you, that depends on how fast it's moving and, and when you're ready to receive it. So you could see this message six seconds after it's uploaded or six six years after it'll come to you when you're ready and when you need it so this message is always for you um, there's always an extended reading that i do and um, that link is attached to the description box below and it's also right pinned right to the top of the comment section for your convenience i'm going to sprinkle the entire reading with the astrology um, and then we're going to unravel the current situation which is just there's just a bunch of cards in front of me right now and then whatever cards come out in the past there's an indicator that that's directly having an impact on something that's going on right now and then we'll get into the predictive and the future um the astrology is really interesting this week for you guys because of the fact that it's it's really contradictory there's a there's there's two influences that you have to contend with uranus which is your primary dignitary um and then there's your traditional ruler which is saturn and saturn is going through some emotional ups and downs i'll attach the capricorn reading for you to go and watch that i would suggest that you do because it describes the saturnian energy very well um i have to say as far as the Aquarian energy, there's a lot of really nice things happening. Yes, there's still, in the beginning of the week, an opposition to the sun, but that, as the sun moves toward Sagittarius, it, it, it dissipates, so that Uranus is really now only in conflict with the North Node. <laughs> I'm sorry, the South Node. Um, and of course, it's still squared to Saturn, which means there is some quality control going on. Yes, I want my life to change, and yes, I want to make changes, but am I making it for the right reasons? And there's a level of you really appreciating that interaction where somebody will catch you up and somebody will test you. I think that you're okay with it because you're ready. You know, preparation is the key to success right now, really. It's how well do you really know this topic? How really well do you know the subjects that you're dealing with? And if so, you don't have to worry about cramming for the test and you don't have to worry about who's going to stop you and, you know, you know, check you, you know, checkpoint, checkpoint, or check, check anything you want. What do you want to know? There's a level of confidence there that I think emotionally is, is uplifting, that there's not much of it, that the emotion for you this week is feeling very good, very confident, very um, um, excited about the changes and where the future is headed. But there's also that other side of you that is like double checking every second that you go along, but am I keeping myself in check? because there is the shadow of the past that is looming there of, I remember how I fucked up back then, or maybe how I lost control. Let's get into the cards. I'm gonna show you the cards, at least the base of the cards, as in the general, the most general part of the reading. We have at the tippy top, spider. Now, this is about building your dreams and weaving. It says, make your dreams real. A lot of times, though, this is very predatory and manipulative energy, as in, I will do anything I have to do to get the things that I want. Weaving a web in order to catch your dreams. This can be very negative or positive mentality. It's definitely productive. It's saying that you are, first of all, in a really wonderful way, you are engineering something. You are designing 
something. You have created something that you can very well be proud of because it came from you. It was something that was new. It was something that was fresh. It was something that was original. It, would, it, it was designed by you like a spider weaves its web. It comes from its body. It comes from its capabilities. And it is unique. It's like a fingerprint. This could not have come from anybody else. This is taking your dreams and bringing them into reality. Very high energy here and extraordinary energy. And you are going to continue on the success, but it's how am I reacting to success? I think that's really what's what's going to come up in these readings. Set healthy boundaries is what you're is like that constant like punch in the gut. Just because somebody's popular or just because somebody's successful doesn't mean they're a good person. I want to keep my standards up with the quality of people that I let into my life. Am I around people that make me feel good? right that's that's a big thing right now and also if i am in new places and i have designed new things then i have to set new boundaries because a person motherfuckers don't know me right i gotta let them know me and the biggest way that i can let them know me is to say you know these are, these are my triggers these are my buttons this is what i will do this is what i won't do so it is, it is a complex energy because it is not the easiest thing in the world to do. You will be able to do it, but there's also that sense of, hey, I'm new here. I don't want to step on anybody's toes, but that's the purpose of a boundary, right? So that they don't get close enough for you to step on their toes. And it's not about blocking yourself or avoiding people. It is about really letting them know what is right. It's building a safe space for yourself. It's, it's establishing what needs to be established. Spirit has your back and watch and wait. It's almost like there's a part of you that wants to watch where the dice fall. You know, there's also, I think, an authority figure that's really, really proud of you or a general consciousness that's that's really, really into what you're doing and has your attention. This could also be a sense of being an authority on something that's very personal and private. Um, but watch and wait. You could be waiting for some sort of um, certification or verification or legal work to come back, sitting there waiting for all that to happen before you make another move so that you are protected, right? You don't want to, you want, you want the patent to be approved before you put it out to market. Is this kind of what I'm saying? Because you do want, you know, you are absolutely, God is not taking this from you. You are absolutely on the, on the rise. You are absolutely on a winning streak, but you want to make sure that everything that you're winning with is protected your ideas, your inventions, your creations, and your integrity. And so I think that you're being very pensive and letting things move slower than they have to so that you know all the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted. We have dreamed the world into being and you are future focused. And this is about taking the pain from the past and turning it into the productivity and possibility of the future. It is learning how to put the past, let the past be dead and let it be done by learning from it and by changing from it. So it's like something is risen out of the pain and suffering from the past. Um, and sing your own song. I think you're telling your story. I think a big part of what your life journey is now is finally being able to talk about what you went through because you can see that the way is clear in front of you and that the past is behind you. So there is a bit of confidence that's coming right now in you and I love it. I love the uniqueness. I love the double individuality here with the spider energy and weaving that web and then and sharing, sharing it, wanting to talk and sing about it. Um, this is also why you might want to be protective of what you're sharing because you want to just make damn sure, <laughs> you know, that, um, that what you're sharing, that you can share it freely without getting it stolen. And then think on your feet. There's going to be a lot of curveballs. But I think you want the life, to, your life to change. And Sagittarius season, what it's saying, because this is Sagittarius energy, it's going to be 
unpredictable in a way. There's a beauty to that. When fox totem comes into your life, and if you see any foxes, definitely the comments below. I would really like to know what the what the curveballs were. Um, if you see any foxes, what it means is that spirit wants you to be malleable. This is sort of like secret to your success this week. Spirit is letting you know, hey, Aquarius, be malleable, you know, be, be on your improv game. There's definitely um, not, not, it's not a great strategy this week to plan too far ahead. It's better to be patient, see what comes to you, and then react appropriately. You almost in some ways want somebody to reveal their hand before you reveal yours and that can apply to all aspects of your life be generous of spirit is coming up in the past this is leo energy it's got to do with your feelings of yourself your courage and what is very important to you so this is definitely something that you've been wanting to create you take a lot of pride in you take a lot of joy in and you 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 it's very important to you so there's a lot of confidence here but this is also <clears throat> This is also sort of the pride of the past. So it's saying, listen, the way that you imagined it is never how it goes. Leave room for interpretation and leave room for flexibility and malleability and, and room to change or for diff leave room for expansion, right? You only dream based on what you've already experienced. Leave room for expansion and growth. And this is Sagittarius season, so come Sunday, there is a lot of growth and expansion as you move towards, as we all move towards Sagittarius season, but there's also a sense of you still got so much to learn. There's still so many voices that need to be heard. And I think this is a very adventurous time for you. There's a very exciting time for you where you're not going to be stuck in any kind of boredom and you're not <laughs> like, you're not, there's, there's no way the next couple of weeks are going to be boring. Then there, there's no way this week is going to be boring. Um, I think it's going to be very fun. It's going to be very playful and it's going to be very exciting. There is that mentality of, oh shit, I've lost myself to my pride and my excitement in the past. I don't want to repeat that this time around. I want to be a leader, but I want to be, I want to have a higher vision. I don't want to be so linear. I want to be more kind of inclusive and objective and see things from a higher perspective. Um, I also want to make sure that it's not just about, you know, casting lots and throwing myself at a situation. I want to be sure the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted and you absolutely do. Let's get into the emotional aspect. We have a very important moon this week, Aquarius, and it's going to be benefic for everyone. Beautiful energy coming to Sagittarius. Really special. Um... Why is it so special, you ask? <laughs> I'm glad you did. Um, I know. Um, I geek out about astrology. I'm not sure why you'd watch my videos if you didn't too, but um, I love it. And so what's so special about this this new moon, and we've had, we've had quite a few um, special moons over the past month, and this is no different. I um, mean, it's not an eclipse. The eclipses are over, so there's a lot more peace surrounding this moon. There's a lot more gentleness and happiness and joy, almost celebration. What a way to start off the holiday season. It's going to be just great. So why is it so special? Well... <sighs> On Wednesday of this week, which is today, Venus shifts into Sagittarius. And then on Thursday, Mercury shifts into Sagittarius. They're leaving Scorpio where they're both not at their most comfortable. And they're heading into Sagittarius where, quite honestly, they're really comfortable. <laughs> it gets really excited. It's almost like the energy starts to move again. New life. Life has come back in. It's like feeling the electricity go through your veins again after a near-death experience. That's kind of what's out. Woo! My vitality. <laughs> um, and then on Sunday, the I think it's Sunday, on the 22nd, the sun shifts into, so it, maybe it's Monday, the sun shifts into um into Sagittarius. It's the 22nd, whatever day of the week that is. Uh, so that's that's a lot 
of heavy impact, boom, boom, boom. That's like ra rapid fire explosions that are happening in Sagittarius. And Sagittarius is an expansive energy to begin with, but to add that much energy in that much amount of time, in that short amount of time, just expands the expansive and it really blows up the beauty and abundance of this moon because this moon right after the sun it comes in and it joins all the rest and bam now there's four planets in Sagittarius that are just all all conjunct in an energy that's really kind of beautiful and happy and joyful um the okay let's go back when a planet first hits a new sign, that's when the energy drops and the energy impact is the most, is the most explosive. It's the, it's the biggest. It's, it has the, the deepest impact. So you're, you're in the midst of feeling all of this brand new energy that's just radiating out, cascading out, right? That's when the energy drops. It's all happening all at once. And then that new moon on the 23rd adds the moon to the mix in direct like directly trying to jupiter any trying to jupiter is luck luck personified luck exemplified this is rapid explosive growth this is if you want to get anything done today you do it on this day a new moon means a new cycle and a new thing to kick off this is a wonderful time for you to like be embraced because I think what you've done is already dropped, but it's for you to be embraced by um, a different crowd, maybe even a foreign crowd. It's, it's an opportunity to go global and it's a great time to get on that. And there's such optimism around you and what you've created that, yeah. I just can't imagine this not being sort of like a meteoric success if you allow it, you know, if you use the energy. So just an FYI, <laughs> um, please always comment below. I really love to know how, how it's feeling, how, how it's, and maybe it's just you being open to something that you haven't been open to before something different, something new, something that opens your mind. It'll all be expansive. It'll all be really exciting and adventurous and, and in, oh, it opens my mind in ways that I've never seen it before. Maybe if you've created something, translating it into different languages, usually really using that mercurial energy in Sagittarius to, to go global and be expansive and reach different people that could really excite you. So that's just a few things that with your astrology would really match that new moon the moon cards have dropped my friends um we have work through your fears so there is an intense shit that you have to get over and we see that a little bit here right in that leaving scorpio season but also leaving the pain behind you right leaving the suffering behind you and ultimately it's almost like the newness is also bringing in new fears so it's trying to say, work through these new fears. And it's natural. And it's not Aquarius, that anything that's going to keep you down. <clears throat> it's just a recognition that with all the newness that Uranus has been so excited about, and your life has changed in so many wonderful ways, there are new things that are going to make you uncomfortable. And so that's probably why you're stepping back and saying, I'm going to take my time with this because I don't want to rush it. And I want to get to a point where I'm not ignoring the fears, but I'm addressing them, I'm facing them so that the fears don't exist anymore. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my time with that. Don't let your past hold you back, right? You've got new fears to confront, forget about the old ones. There's a sense of be done with the past or be, how, do you, how are you done with it? You don't ignore it, you embrace it. You say, I've lived through this, I've done this, this is where I come from. Being honest and being truthful is so important for you when you look in the mirror this week because it is all about integrity and you are going to be the harshest judge of you this whole week. So it's like, have I done things correctly? And in some ways, all this new fear is part of the quality control that you're sort of laying on yourself. 
to make sure that you are somebody that you're proud of at the end of the day, not somebody who just gets rich or somebody who just gets popular, which by the way, based on the astrology is very possible for you right now, but somebody that you're proud of and that you've done it on your terms and not on anybody else's. We have your commitment is being tested, your commitment to your cause, your purpose, your commitment to integrity. And that is part of the quality control. It's almost you, you confronting you. Take time to breathe out. This is a suggestion from the universe. Give yourself the space to exhale. Give yourself the space to relax. Give yourself the space to recalibrate yourself in the here and now so you can be present with what's in front of you without looking back and without being influenced by that and without being influenced by all the things that are coming in front of you. You want the new things to come in, but you want them to come in at a pace that you are capable of handling. That is extremely important this whole week. It doesn't mean bad things are coming in. It absolutely means good things are coming in. But as I said to Capricorn, I think I may have said to Capricorn, it might be, it, I don't know, I've said it in one video. Um, God often tests us by giving us everything we've ever wanted. Money doesn't reveal, money doesn't make you who you are. It reveals who you are. So if, you, if it's not just about money, it's about fortune, right? It's about all this success. Who am I really? And maybe there's a little bit of, of you that says, I'm scared of what I'll learn. I'm scared that I'm more like the crowd and more like the people I think I'm fighting against than I really want to be. But that's all an opportunity for growth as well. We have nine of cups here. Bam. Girl, come on, man. This is wishes and dreams coming true. Yeah. And it, it, sometimes it's the hardest to accept. And all that hard work is over with. There's a sense of... There's just a sense of, of like, let yourself lose. Sometimes losing is the best victory you can have because what you're losing is extra responsibility or doing too much. There's something here, the wish come true, the, the abundance that's coming into you is going to relieve a lot of responsibilities and duties and stress. It's going to liberate you, liberate your time. But because you are ruled by Saturn, or that Saturn is your traditional ruler, Aquarius, you have a sick work ethic. And a lot of times, it's your work ethic that keeps you stable and keeps you humble. And if a great success has just happened to you and you don't have to work as hard anymore, I think you know on some level that's actually not good for you. You do want to stay focused. And basically, you can choose to stay busy, just do, do joyful things. You know, this, this is like the burdens, the, the working too hard, the overexerting yourself that is going to break you if you don't allow yourself to just enjoy this moment here and now. Let's get into the extended. And remember, if you are interested in joining my live event on March, in March of 2023, head to my community tab and fill out that poll to let me know how you think you'd be interested in joining or in participating live in Austin, Texas, USA, or virtual from anywhere in the world. I think it's going to be through Zoom. So you let me know and then come on over to the extended with me and I'll see you guys there.